PTV Rosalyn Lester. I'm Hector Galliano. I'm Aiden Wayne. I'm PTV's Charity Hart. I'm Eo Gifford. Welcome back to PTV at PHS. Today is Thursday, February 25th, 2021. I'm PTV's Charity Harder. Case counts for COVID positive cases here in Marshall County continue to slow, which is a good sign. The positive case count is updated daily at coronavirus.in.gov. The Indiana Department of Health is reporting 5,384 positive COVID cases in Marshall County since the beginning of the pandemic. Each Wednesday, the Indiana Department of Health color-coded map is updated. The colors are used to provide guidelines for local decision making. Currently, Marshall County's metrics continue to place us in the yellow color, which is better than the orange color and a lot better than the red color category. The PHS Culinary Arts and Hospitality Program has hit a milestone this year that students and staff were uncertain if they would even be able to meet due to the pandemic. Students in the program were able to travel off campus and cater their first event of the school year. Teachers Jill McNeil was hoping the day would be able to happen, and last Friday she was overjoyed that her students got to hit the road for the airport to experience what it's like to cater an event. Culinary students made brunch for dozens of guests at the Plymouth Municipal Airport. The brunch menu consisted of six menu options. Veggie frittata bake, loaded red potatoes with bacon, ham and cheese pinwheels, biscuits and gravy, cinnamon roll French toast, and fresh fruit. Mr. Fishback here at the airport, he is, um, I believe, the director of the aviation program. Um, invited us to or asked us to cater the um, brunch for it's for the counselors and I believe teachers in the area to learn about their program mm. and so we were really excited it's the first time we've gotten the opportunity to cater this year and um, so we started planning menus and practicing recipes and we're all ready to go if you're looking for another day away from school you don't have much of a wait the next PCSC e-learning day will be held March 5th. That's next Friday. This is the last of the five scheduled e-learning days that PCSC administrators peppered into the school year because of the pandemic. Just a reminder, students who do not have internet access at home need to plan ahead and check in with your teachers so that you can plan in advance for your lessons at home. Whether you'll have a required Zoom meeting or just a regular assignment will be determined by individual teachers. This week, sophomore audits have been going on in the varsity gym on the second floor. During an audit, students pick their classes for next year and meet with their counselor to make sure they have all of their core 40 required classes complete or scheduled. Sophomore audits are wrapping up tomorrow and then freshman audits are scheduled to take place during the week of March 8th through the 12th before spring break. During the junior audits, we discovered our radio TV 1 and 2 classes were missing from the yellow student selection sheet this year. This has happened in the past, so we weren't too concerned because both courses, like last time, can be found in the official 21-22 course description guide. However, we have sad news to report. The radio TV is slated to be eliminated next year, and the PTV program will no longer continue due to low enrollment and the school's interest in building the business marketing program. We are hoping the action could perhaps be reversed. There is a lot of community support from parents, former students, and local businesses like the University of Notre Dame's athletic program. At this point, you would need to contact Superintendent Andy Hartley for the school board if you would like to see the outcome change for the 2021-2022 school year. In other news, with the end of the year quickly approaching, many seniors are anxious to know about what's to come for graduation and prom. PTV did some digging, and as of now, the 2021 commencement ceremony is set to be held on Friday, June 4th at 7.30 p.m., outside of the rock pile, weather permitting. Principal Condon sent an email to students asking for patience and flexibility knowing that we are still currently under coronavirus restrictions when it comes to event attendance. For the status of prom, in that same email, Mr. Condon confirmed that there is a site and prom date reserved. Although, due to the pandemic, that information is yet to be released. Shifting gears to some PTV sports news, the IHSAA Boys Basketball Sectional begins for schools all across Indiana next week. On the 4A bracket, on the bottom right there, you see Plymouth takes on South Bend Adams in the first round of the sectional on Wednesday, March 3rd, in Michigan City. Whichever team comes out on top will face the winner of Laporte and Mishawaka game that takes place on Tuesday, the opening night of the tourney. Best of luck to Coach Bales and our Pilgrims as they prepare for the crucial part of their season. The boys' swimming season came to an end this past Saturday after seven Plymouth swimmers made it to sectionals at Warsaw Community High School. We would like to congratulate Coach Haley Church and the seven who competed at sectionals, totaling a score of 134 points and placing six as a team overall. The seven swimmers are Joseph Cartwright, Maxwell Marone, Sean Janda, Ashton Artrip, David Shoddick, Fitz Holm, and Justin Hewen. That is a wrap of this week's edition of PTV at PHS. Stay warm, everyone, and remember to mask up.